Hey YouTube, it's me again um, with another project I took up on myself um, to build, uh, put together, I shouldn't say build, I'm sorry, put together a, a South Shore Versa 5 draw chest. They said multiple furnishings. I got this at Walmart. It's a chest of draw and this is what it comes in now. This package is heavy, so I tried to push it, that didn't turn out too great. So um, this is what it looks like, I open it up on top, on the side, because just in case, God forbid, I don't have to mail it back, I just took the liberty to just open it up on the side so it would be easier to you know, put it back in there if I have to do send it back, which I hope I don't. And it's not real wood much disappointment to me because I prefer real wood but when things get really tight you know you gotta binge a lot and kind of take what you get but it's kind of it's, it's pretty good I looked at the reviews on it and it seems to be pretty good so I kind of I'm going to see I kind of settle but settle with it I don't know what it's going to look like so this is my this is what I'm going to you know my first attempt at this so yep here I go okay guys so I took the size out of the box and I put them against this wall here that I have because this is where I'm going to set up so those are my two sides and that's my top next to it right and yeah top and bottom so they are heavy and um, what I, I really love about this is that the drawers the face of the drawer face they were made out of mdf which is really good and um, the reason why i say it's really good is is the second best thing if you can't afford real wood because unlike wood mdf termite don't attack this because of course it's man-made but although it's man-made you can still get the wood look you can still get the wood feel but you for sure knows that termites can attack this and I noticed because like I said before in my other video that um you know I've worked in a workshop before I built furniture from scratch and what we realized is that termites don't attack them they, they attack the teeth they attack the pine they attack the uh, mahogany but they did not attack the MDF so we used to use a lot of MDF to build a lot of furniture where I'm from and it actually looks like wood when you're finished and it lasts very long what I don't like about this is these drawers they say it's about a cardboard but they could have done about a quarter you know they have the quarter tick in the MDF also they could use instead of that and for the sides, they could have also done the same. You know, that I don't like. It's heavy. And it would have taken away a lot of the weight. So that's the only thing I like about it, is that the draw fees, they were actually made of MDF. But the sides could have been made out of any MDF also. And it would have saved a lot of the weight. So most of your weight really comes from these. So imagine that it's separated and it's heavy. So when those pounds comes together as one, it's going to be even worse. So here I go. This is my step one. I put my pieces aside. They are all marked. As you can see, they didn't have the stickers, but they are all marked, which is nice, which means I don't have to take stickers off and mark them myself for future. That's the draw. So, and I believe this is the box with all the screws and stuff. I haven't opened that as yet. And, and here's my booklet. I don't know how much information I would have. Not that I would really need it. It's pretty easy for me, you know, building furniture from scratch. So I know what goes where and how to get it together. I'm going to be doing this myself. And it's from South Shore. I think one part is Spanish and the other part is English. So... Off to my new adventure. 
So I opened the box and the box has the tracks, which is metal, which is good. So I don't have to worry about that. And I got all the parts and they sent me a nice little marker. I got a little bump on one of the, the, the corners, but it's not much to talk about, you know, but it's pretty. Anyways, let's not get distracted. Yeah, so here I go. I'm going to try to do step by step so everybody can have an idea what they're going to get themselves into. And yes, it looks like chaos in a pack. But I'm not going to try to stress and think about it. If I do, I'm going to go crazy and I'm going to frustrate myself. So we're going to do this and we're going to make it through. Okay, now I'm doing the drawers. I think I'm going to do the drawers first. And this is what the size looks like. Um... You put the two plugs in, you tap, I slide, I tapped it in all the way, it's going in snug, but what I realize is not going all the way in as it should. So yeah, sometimes it's got to give it a little tap, just a little tap, Not you're not going to hammer it like nails, okay? You're just going to tap it in, and it's going to be snugged, and you're just going to place these uh, strange looking screws there in the middle, right? Those are going to be holding together the sides. Trying to be shaky set the sides see it has s written on them okay it's hard to it's very not that hard to mist so this is what the ones i'm working at right now and hopefully when it's completed the drawers are completed then i'll show you what it looks like okay so putting the sides of the drawer together um do you see this hole right here it's supposed to lock on this with a locking system. That screw that you see into the middle there. Right? So what you do, you put the locking system in first. Now, there is an, like a small arrow pointing down like this. You see it there? It's like a little arrow. That's when you know that it's correct. So it has to be pointing down. Or what you can do, you can lift the side of the hole and you would see, it's, you're supposed to see like an opening. And that opening is for the top of the screw to go into the locking system. And when it's lined up, you turn it and it secures it in place keeping the drawers, sides, and front together. Okay? So I'm almost through making one of my first draw. And that's a really big one to the top. Well, I think they all look big, but this one seems to look a little extra big. Anyways, yeah. So I slid in the bottom. And now I'm going to put the top. of it and they pretty much the same procedure and what I realized is, um apparently one pack of the 516 numbered one 516 seems like it goes towards one draw so now that I have the locking system to place and I'm gonna finish up this draw all right guys okay now that I've placed the final piece to finish the first draw together, I'm just gonna lock it. That's about it. My first draw is complete. So I have completed my drawers, and here they are. And the reason why I stacked them like this is so you know they wouldn't, the faces won't knock, so you know the edges won't get damaged. And they won't actually tip over and takes up less space. So yeah. So phase one. <laughs> Yay! It's done. Alright. Okay, so we're working on the the main frame of the chest of drawers and this are the sides. You have to put the tracks on before you pretty much put it together and add the top and the bottom. So See, I have a left and a right track. What they did is that they 
the place is called um, well that these are the um, I think these are the meal so and the other two are the ones that are going onto the drawer so the ones that has those kind of squarish edges those are the ones that are you are putting on the the inner frame of the chest of drawers you see I have them there and I haven't placed them together it's gonna be much harder when you have to do it stand up and you know try to get yourself in there so Phase two. So these are the screws that are to be used for the tracks for the draw and the ones on the sides. And I tell you these, I don't know who's the idiot that in, invented this shit. But this is ridiculous. It's it's not even pierced properly. Look at it, look at that. It's not even deep enough. I have to be using a really small screwdriver. Just to get that in and my hand, oh my god, the inside of my hand is red because they didn't even make the grooves properly. This still shakes because it's pretty much not getting a proper grip onto that damn thing. Look at look at it. That's to tell you how much pressure I have to put just to get it in. It's it's not you know the grooves on the screws and are, are not even deep enough to grip the damn screwdriver. So, you know, it's pretty much a struggle with that. So far, everything has been going good. That's just my damn problem I have with this damn thing now. Shaky ass tracks. Which is a damn no-no. Shit. Come on, people. Okay, so our frame is coming together nicely. The white centerpiece there, that's in. And you place your locking mechanism arrow facing towards the hole and of course when you line it up you put it in you tighten it it will pretty much stand on its own same goes for G G is the the base and PI is of course that decorative piece with the floor of the black plugs which was also used in an end so so far things are lined up nicely then when I'm done, I would put the other side on top. See, hold together with the blue lucky mechanism. And then I'll add me the top. And we will move on from there. So far, my back is killing me because I've been bending over a lot. So it's taking its toll. And I finally got those um, tracks in, 20 screws. I haven't done the other 20 for the drawers and my hands are like so far I only got one of the track to be sturdy but whoever's doing those screws they need to, to, to be a little mindful and kind of punch those grooves in a little better so us novices could get a better hold on them you know so we wouldn't end up in no problems so far this is the only this is the only one here that is sturdy enough the others are a little shaky. They're not one went in with ease. If all of them had went in with ease, it would have been really nice. But I don't think it should cause much problem, but you never know what happens over time. So I'll keep you guys posted. So far I must say that I am disappointed. This is the back. Yeah, this this stupid thing is the back. They should be selling this thing for like at least fifty bucks. Another hundred and ten. Yeah, because look at this. It's pretty much somewhat together. I'm already pissed off because I was not expecting this. But it was just a, what do you say, an emergency moment where I had to, had to really get one of these into the room. I mean, I wanted to buy one. I, I did reviews and stuff. Um... It's not up to what I think it should be. For the money, it should at least be some... At least it could have gone with MDF for, the, for the, the back of it. The reason why these things tip over because they are so light. They weren't made properly and this was not made properly. Ugh, I am so pissed. You know, but it came from a, a really nice place, you know, trying to get... Everything in place, you know, you know, having a 
Oh, my fiance says his son is going to be with us. He finally won custody, and I must say, kudos to fathers who try out there. And you know, there are some women out there, they, they collect child support under false pretenses. You know, and it's sad that the court system fail a lot of these good men because they don't look into these things. You know, some of these women just take their money and they travel with it. And the court is not saying, okay, show me what you did, show me what you buy, give me the receipt, let me see what you got this this child you say you love so much. And that's where it all fails. So, you know, I'm glad I'm supporting him. You know, so I went on and I got this, trying to make everything come together for us. And I'm pretty disappointed that this is what I got. Uh, am I going to send it back? I don't think so. I'm not going to send it back because I could imagine the pain just to get this back to where it came from. And if I have to get send it back, I want my money back and I want all of it back. And I know they would not give me all of it back because... I've sent back a memory for mattress to Walmart and they gave, didn't even give me the full refund. They gave me part of what I spent. So you're pretty much being discouraged for buying trash. They want your money, but they, they don't want to give you what you want for your money, which is sad. So, Lord knows if I had my workshop, I would have, I would freaking transform this piece of shit. I show these people what it is to give people their money's worth. A cardboard. Really? That's a cardboard. It's gonna it's gonna keep it from rocking side to side because as as you secure each corner and you they actually sent me some tack nails to nail this back on. To tack the back onto this thing and a bracket. I am not going to use this damn bracket. I'm sorry. I'm not. I'm going to find some way. Because, one, this is not a, a, a child. This is a, actually a, I would say almost a teenager. And if you're going to climb like a fool up on this, I'm going to sit down and watch you climb and you lie. And you're going to fall and then complain like some of these parents. They don't watch their kids. The, kid, the kids are the parents and the parents are the kids. And they allow the kids to climb up these things and then come scrambling down. No, at some point, kids cannot be kids when it comes to those things. When I was my age, when I was like five, four, and we never did that. You couldn't do that. My mother would break a stick on your back. You respect what your parents buy because they work hard for it. And society now is telling kids that they can do what they want and they grow with that and they wonder why you have so many ignorant beasts traveling on the buses and the subways who don't respect the elders because that's what society taught them from a young age that they have a right to be little monsters and when these little monsters grow into bigger monsters you're wondering why well anyway switching back yeah so this is the trash oh my god I'm so pissed so this is what this thing has turned out to be. Um, had a few problems with the drawers going in. That's because um, the screws that were used for the tr for the tracks, or how you should say, yeah, the tracks. That's what we call them. Um, they pretty much have to be put in really flat, or else the drawers would not go in. So I had to. If this is supposed to be what I think it is, but this you know. Come on. Might as well give me a blasted sticky note and tell me stick it under there. Shit.